In this video, I'm fishing an outgoing tide in Bonita Springs. Uh, the water is relatively calm, as you can tell, and I'm just pulling over this flat, which is pretty clear for the most part. The reason I'm casting here is because I was just scanning along the whole stretch of land between me and the tree line, and I saw something move. I was going for redfish, but I would take pretty much anything. I know that I was using a crab pattern of sorts, but I don't remember which crab pattern it was. All I know is that it seemed to work. This was one of those moments where you sit here and you stalk the fish, you actually present the fly perfectly, and he bites, then you actually catch it on camera for everyone to see. So it's easier to show rather than just to repeat the story, you know, that was the one that got away. And this snook actually put up a really good fight, despite not being a rather large snook. I was definitely impressed, and as you can tell, he gave me a little run for my money. I don't know if everyone feels the same way about it, but I rarely ever use my fly reel to actually reel in the line. I've lost more fish trying to reel them in, but sometimes when you get a nice fish that's going to pull you out, it's alright to reel. I still usually prefer to strip though. As you can see, I switch back over. I was trying to get a couple cool pictures underwater, but they didn't turn out as clear as I had hoped. Now this is a day where I didn't go out on the kayak. I was actually fishing at a pass down in Naples and there were some snook that were hiding in along the side of the rocks here. On the beach there really wasn't any fish but when I finally got down here I realized I found where all the fish were. So I'm fishing here in between when the boats are going by and all the paddle boarders and stuff are going by and just trying to land a few snook. If you look closely, you can actually see when the fish bites.
This size snook is usually the average size that you'll find off of a beach, but there are some days when you can just find 25 inches, and I've seen some people catch even 35 inches. This guy was about normal, but uh, still fun nonetheless. It's always really nice when you just turn on your GoPro and you take a cast and on that first cast you hook up. It just kind of makes the video that much better right off the bat. I kind of wish I would have known when I first started walking on the beach that I wasn't going to see any fish or even find any fish the whole walk down because then I would have just walked straight to the rocks and saved myself a lot of just peering into the water and trying to find fish that just weren't there. I don't know why they weren't on the beach. It was a normal conditions when I'd usually find them, but for some reason they were just all stacked up over here in the rocks. I'm using 20 pound test leader and the fly I'm using is called the Schmino. It's a really good bait fish pattern. Uh, it's made out with a marabou tail and estaz wrapped around the hook shank. Just imitates bait fish and everything loves it. The main rod I'm using is an 8 weight fly rod. The one that you keep seeing come into the screen is actually a 12 weight fly rod. I kind of had it just in case I came across some tarpon and Hopefully got lucky enough to hook up to them, but I never saw any on this day, so it just kind of stayed in the backpack. But it's better to be safe than sorry, if you ask me. I don't know about anybody else, but it happens to me sometimes when I catch a fish, you know, I have it hooked, it's on the end of my line, and then a bigger fish that's, you know, twice the size of it comes up. And that actually happened in this video, there was a couple bigger snook that were coming to see what was going on with this one, but of course I hooked a smaller guy. Wasn't complaining, but it just hurts a little bit when you see that bigger guy there and you just kind of want to catch him. For anyone who is wondering, yes, I did just learn how to use the slow motion feature of it, so that's why there's a lot of slow motion in this video and probably a lot more moving forward. I don't normally release fish like that, but at the end of the rocks it really just wasn't suitable to try to get down there. I didn't really want to fall in, so I made sure he cleared the rocks when I tossed him. I had a few other follow-ups and you know some snook look at it as you just saw right there but they didn't feel like biting so I believe that was the last guy I caught that day anyways thanks for watching guys be looking to uh, post some more videos here when I get the chance feel free to subscribe and uh, you know I'd love any feedback or any ideas I'll see what videos I have that kinda just go all over the place so thanks again for watching last cast adventures <laughs>